in today's Pakistan, uh, we are faced with multiple challenges, particularly the challenge of increasing investment rates for the desired uh, growth level. We need to absorb 2 million people who are coming in the job market. So today's session basically uh, was focused around these issues that how can we actually attract investment, what are the binding constraints to investors in Pakistan, uh, particularly when we have done well on the ease of doing business, what else needs to be done. So there were three critical angles which I spoke about. One is that improving our policy side where we can actually have a world-class growth policy and industrial policy change the structure of implementation on modern grounds by introducing technology and then couple it with further ease of doing business that will create incentives in our priority sectors to bring in investors uh, pakistan desperately needs investment and we need to we have given the message that we are open for investment but we have not been able to do enough that to be ready for the modern world to attract business uh, the second part of my conversation was linked to the regional connectivity, particularly China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. And the messages which we discussed here was that the strategic location alone will not work till the mindset on actually opening up borders for economic diplomacy comes in. And a lot of investment needs to change the structures of institutions. However, there is interest in Pakistan and there is a market emerging of Western China, Pakistan, Central Asia, possibly Iran in future. So we talk about different dynamics of that. Now, how can institute like Pakistan Institute of Development Economics contribute towards these critical themes. So there are three things here. First of all, try and focus most of the research on policy impact and influencing. And that is where you need to engage with key people who can guide you that what is basically needed to be done. The second part is that you need to strengthen industry research linkages. Unless those are strengthened, it will be very hard for wider ownership of your research, particularly applied research. And third is the communication strategy, that how can that research be disseminated widely so that it can have the impact which this deserves. And fourth and most critical is that no one institute can do it alone forge partnerships with people who are better than you and people who need you on complementarity basis. So that's the general talk and we had wonderful questions and answer but mostly uh, institute needs to reach out uh, to private sector, to regional players to basically start influencing the power of research.